let me start from here so energy source subsystem energy refueling unit maybe from home or from any place where the electricity is there which can be used for charging the battery packs and for the battery packs in a vehicle we need to have energy there is there will be an energy management unit which can closely monitors the health of the battery and also gives the battery pack cells balance information and monitors the battery pack uh, health so from the battery the three phase pwm pulse width modulation inverter dc current is being drawn from the battery pack and it goes to the inverter so as i explained you before the inverter basically does the conversion of the electric dc current to the ac current and that ac current is being supplied to the motor as an input so this is the uh, power flow of the motor from the battery pack and this three phase inverter also has an electronic controls so there are two ways of looking at it one is the three phase inverter along with the motor controller which controls the motor also takes the input from the user like an accelerator inputs and this communicates between each other and gives the those informations to the motor and accordingly the motor delivers the power to the mechanical transmission and then transfers to the wheels now as i mentioned you before there are a couple of auxiliary components that is being used in the vehicle and uh, those are being powered from the battery pack through a dc dc converter from a high voltage dc to a low voltage dc which in turns there is one more unit called power steering unit uh, which again needs the power from the battery and which actually helps the steering wheel to maneuver there is one more thing for the temperature control so in our vehicle we use uh, air conditioning system and in general the air conditioning system is being uh, the energy being supplied fr uh, from the air conditioning system through the engine since in in the absence of engine the uh, energy for the air conditioning system has to be supplied from the batteries and that also draws power from the battery so this is the overall electric vehicles schematic architecture diagram for your ease of understanding now when it comes to the let's go uh, one by one of this parts like electric machine so there are many different designs as i mentioned you before the electric machine which converts the electricity to torque to move the vehicle so there are different types of electric machines as someone has asked like starts from the dc machine to the ac machine and ac also induction motor interior permanent magnet motors surface permanent magnet motors so depends on the configuration and the application so varieties of track electric machines are available it basically uh, the function of the electric motor as you all know one field is created by a car it, it it houses a stator and the rotor so the three the current is being supplied to the stator in turn produces the magnetic flux which tends to rotate the rotor uh, which induces the voltage on the rotor and then it produces the torque so this is the invention from of electromagnetic induction which is uh, actually the heart of this function of the e machine so uh, here the electric machine that produces is directly proportional to the current that is being flown or that's being drawn from the motor so the torque is controlled by varying the current flow since it's a direct relation increase in the torque means high current is required whereas if we reduce the current the torque that motor that produces also will get reduced so electric motors efficiency are often well above 90% and thus significantly more efficient than the engines as as i mentioned before so engine efficiency is hardly 40 to 50% percentage, max to max so another beauty of this electric motor is that electric motors can produce a torque at a zero speed which basically helps to go for a transmission of single speed if you see the conventional vehicles will have a uh, five manual transmissions uh, in turns okay amt which again it has a different gear ratios but then when it comes to the electric vehicle because of the beauty of the torque speed curve that the electric motor produces 
uh, there is no need of a multi stage transmissions uh, wherein a single st speed transmission is good enough to power the wheels so this battery pack we have gone through this i have explained you about this battery and inverter inverter which inverts the dc to the ac and supply the current to the motor this is the function of the inverter and the dc dc as i told you from the high voltage battery pack to the low voltage aux batteries powering the aux batteries this device is being used and the charger so the charger is a device that is being used for the for uh, charging the batteries from the ac mains now so electric drive train system power flow as i mentioned you uh, the batteries uh, the power is being drawn from the battery and this is the power electronic device which is the inverter which inverts the dc current to the ac current and from then it supplies to the motor means mainly to the stator uh, which in turn the rotor produces the torque and the produced torque is being transferred to the transmission of transmission input gear and from that reduction ratio multiplication of the reduction ratio because of the gear engagement the output of the transmission produces the torque and supply to the wheels so this is the overall power flow of the electric drive system and this not only inverts but also acts as the motor controller which controls the motor by supplying the current as and when required by the user because uh, because this also gets the input from the user as the user if he presses the throttle so this much is the energy that is being needed or demanded from the vehicle and that much will be supplied uh, based on the user demand so this has a control system as well as the power electronic device so let's go something here with the e, e machine so this is the major list of components that's being used for as a typical electric traction motor as an induction motor so this is the stator housing which ha which has as the stator winding being assembled to it and this is the rotor which means the die cast rotor uh, which is being supported with two bearings again in turn the shaft is being supported with the end plates front and the rear plates and uh, this forms the complete assembly of the motor and here is the cooling fan there are a lot of different types of fans available and just for a simpler example this fan is being coupled for the shaft mount shaft mounted fan wherein it is mounted to the shaft and this is a cover for the fan so basically when the three supply is being given to the stator winding which excites and uh, there is, there will be a magnetic flux that's being generated around the stator which in turn produces the induced emf to the rotor and because of that reason the rotor produces the torque which is being used so this is the function overall function of the traction motor and the major list of components so this is very limited to a one technology of traction motor which is the induction motor technology this is being used in all, most of the industrial applications as well for a high power high kilowatt motors another main key critical component for the drive system is this transmission so the torque that motor produces will not be good enough for the vehicle to drive so that is the reason there is a transducer or speed reduction and the torque increase transaxle is being used so here is a uh, simple electric vehicle transmission which if you see as compared to the manual five speed transmission this is quite simpler so here this is called the input gear so this input gear will be coupled to the motor shaft as i show, showed you so this motor shaft will be coupled to this transmission input gear and from this transmission input gear so there is a single speed reduction in two stages so this is the first stage reduction and second stage reduction wherein the torque will be multiplied with respect to the ratio of this transmission so this is the intermediate gear pinion and there is a differential which is a part of this transmission and this is the output gear and the torque that produces from the output gear has been coupled on both the sides you can see from here and this side been coupled uh, to the wheels 
So this is how the torque that's being produced from the motor has been transferred inside the transmission and uh, transferred to the wheels. So uh, yes, of course, since the complication of the transmission is as comparatively lesser when it comes to the manual uh, gearbox, yes, the weight optimization is possible and the efficiency yes of course there are since there are not a lo lot many gears and clutch mechanism yes of course the efficiency is also possible to have 97 percentage and this is just a specification of uh, one example of borg wagon e-drive wherein can take up a torque of uh, e 200 newton meter uh, continuous and 300 p and this input can run to a speed of 14,000 RPM. Splash lubrication oil is being used in for this. And this is the overall specification of the transmission. So this is the, the major components for the drive system is the inverter, which I have explained to you, and the motor that produces the torque, and the e-gear, which transfers the torque from the motor to the wheels.